my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Test in the Desert. Jesus is tempt. Tempted. Let's read. Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for forty days and night. After that, Jesus was very hungry. I have to close the window. So God's spirit led into the Jesus into the desert and. Jesus didn't have anything 40 days and nights. Jesus was very hungry. <laughs> this is my teddy bear. I have made it. Hi. Jesus will be very hungry because he didn't eat for 40 days and night. Like only one day it is also like very hungry. And it is also desert like you just didn't have anything and doesn't drink. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, <coughs> Satan tempted him. He pointed to the rock and said, If you're the son of God, tell this rock to become a bread. So unknowing Jesus, Satan came to Jesus and he knew that Jesus was very hungry. So he can't started to tempting Jesus by saying, saying, like, if you're the son of God, tell these rocks to become a bread. If I am Jesus, I think I will make that into raw into a bread and eat it. Because like we didn't eat for forty years or oh, forty days. Sorry. Jesus answered Satan using God's words from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps people alive. He said they live also depend on what God says. So, like Satan was tempting Jesus, but Jesus said, <coughs> saying from the Bible words, People doesn't live with only what the bread. People people live with God's word. So Jesus said in <coughs> in God's word. Next. Satan took Jesus to the top of the temple. <coughs> if you are the son of God, jump off. The scripture says that the angel will rescue you. So Satan, next, Satan was very not feeling good because Jesus didn't tempt it by the Satan. So Satan was keep doing it. Next, Satan took Jesus to the top of the mountain and said, If you're the son of God, jump off. The scripture says you that angel will rescue you. Question. 
Did Jesus turn rocks into bread when he was hungry? No, Jesus didn't. And Jesus also said from the Bible's word that people doesn't live with only with the bread. People live with God's world. So Jesus used God's world word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord's Lord your God to the test. He said quitting again from the Bible. So Jesus was using God's world word again and say don't put the Lord your God to the test. And he answered to Satan with God's world word. Finally, Satan took Jesus to the mountain and showed him all the words, kingdoms of will, this can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. So finally, Satan took Jesus to the mountain and showed the whole world and saying, if you bow down to me, like, it can be yours. All of this land can be yours. <coughs> so, the last test was like Satan was tempting Jesus to bow down and worship the f false Satan. Question: Satan tempted Jesus to jump off from a dashing angel will rescue him. Number one, a mountain. Number two, mountain. Number three, the temple. I guess number three. Go away, Satan! Jesus commanded. Then he quoted God's word one more time. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. So Satan was kept tempting Jesus, but Jesus didn't tempt it by Satan. So, and Jesus said one more time with the God's word Do not obey. Wait a minute, where is it? Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Do not serve the false God. Another one. Like because God is the only one true God who can forgive our sins and like that. As soon as Jesus said that, Satan let him. Then an angel came to carry for him. Jesus had faced the temptation and hadn't sinned, not even once. So, as soon as Jesus said that, the angel came to take care of Jesus. Question, 
When Satan tempted him, Jesus quipped that God's word from the Bible and never sinned. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.